morning. Hello, hello, hello. We've arrived in Iceland. It's technically afternoon. Huh. Good afternoon. We've arrived in Iceland. We have. Welcome. We're a little bit late this morning because the seas were a bit rough, so it's pushed our arrival time back by an hour. We have got an excursion book today with Disney, and we're about to leave to go and meet them in the Walt Disney Theatre. It's a nine hour tour, goes around the Golden Circle, goes to the waterfalls, national nice. parks, geysers, and also to the power plant, which should be very interesting. And then we also get lunch. So come along and enjoy the ride. Enjoy. I'll just show you where we've docked. That is a steep gangway. <laughs> Grab you. Ready? Ready, ready. Ready, let's go. So we've just checked in here. There's the table. And we've been given our badge numbers. Badge 13. That kind of goes with my, my guess, doesn't it? And then we take a seat where, oh, number 13, where? Right there. We're on the moon. We are off. Yeah, it's a, it's a barbecue, as in dinner, early dinner um, activity. The tour's name is Golden Circle with Family Barbecue. But the interesting aspect is this folklore adventure uh, fairy tale. Started establishing geothermal powers and harnessing geothermal water in 1930, approximately. Um, the crisis, the world crisis, had an impact. Um, it was too expensive to heat our homes. We have just arrived at our first port of call. On the excursion. Yeah, I'm awake, I <laughs> We've come to the power plant, yeah, the which was supposed to be the last stop, but it's the first stop. They've changed it around. So we're at this power plant. Hi. So this geothermal power plant provides the water and, and electricity. electricity for Reykjavik. Reykjavik. And they drill down. I'm trying to remember everything I've just been told. So they drill down a mile, don't they? A mile could be a mile, I didn't hear how far. It was a mile. They drill down a mile, shove a tube in the ground. Basically get a load of hot water come up from the springs. No, it was steam and gases, steam wasn't and gas, it? Yeah. Get steam and gases coming up, which turns the turbines. Generates electricity. It's electricity. And interesting, he said that no homes have any boilers because all the hot water is just produced by the power plant. Yeah. Amazing. And interestingly as well, he said the CO2 that they produce that, come, that, naturally, comes that up. naturally comes up, they use that as well to convert that into something, don't they? Yeah, so they put it back into the water and then they like inject that like carbonated water into rocks. Water passes through the porous rocks, but the gases can't. They end up forming minerals on the rock. Amazing. So like it that. produces a hell of a lot less pollution than a typical power plant. Yeah. So this explains what it's all used for, the geothermal use. So 43% for space heating, 4% for swimming pools and bathing, 9% for agriculture, 40% electric and 4% other. So Iceland is ridiculously expensive. The only thing that's cheap is the utility bill in your home. Cheap electricity, water is cheap, not to mention the fresh, clean water from the tap. Where are we going? Uh, to a giant troll grave. A giant troll grave. And also to drink some water out of a river. And to drink some Icelandic spring water. Oh, this is pretty. Here. 
Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers. Are you ready? Fresh. He's Icelandic. Oh, it's got some. It's all good. All good. Protein. It's all good. Protein. Go. Sip. Fresh Icelandic water from the spring. Oh, it tastes like water. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> Eat the stream that it's literally just come out of. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like it's water. Very cold. Very isn't cold. It? Very fresh. What's that floaty thing? Floaty. It's a bubble. It's, it's a okay. bubble. Here is the giant grave. The giant troll's grave. If it's a giant troll, it's not a very, very big grave. Max. <laughs> Is that Father Christmas? No. <laughs> the angry, the angry troll. There's the angry troll, Max. They're coming back. They scare me. They're coming. Are you taking photos of me? Yes, because no. you're so beautiful. She is not beautiful. Is she not? <laughs> is it she your is, wife? He is my husband. Yes. I got told off for filming them. <laughs> no, they probably. said, no, not properly. They said if I continue filming them, I'm going in the bag. What would you like? I'd like. Is that. That looks like a seven. Is like, that Yeah, I'm going with. <laughs> oh, orange soft drink. Oh, yeah, I'll have that. I'll have one of the, the orange soft drinks. Oh, sure. I'm just waiting for the angry trolls to come back because they've scared me now. <laughs> We've got our lunch. You're in the bad box. Oh, yeah. So I've got hot dog, chips, potato salad, and chicken. Upstairs, in the restaurant, there's a little woolen shop. Wow, look at the view. Have you seen these little sheep over here? What are they? Wax. Wax. Oh no. So? So. See? So. so. Are the trolls still there? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, how can we get past them? We're stuck. I can't get round. Oh, you're my favourite. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Let me hold your coffee. coffee. Thanks. Oh. Now we're all holding coffee. Now we're all holding, now we're all holding coffee. All, all holding coffee. How do I put it on? You just have to put good, it on your back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just put it on. Oh, you look oh. so good! You look like Icelandic. Yes. Oh, you that's look cool. like us now. You, you want to go to the mountains? You're one yep. of us. You're ready to. You want to go no. to the park and come to the ride them horses? Yes, be... Those trolls are scaring me. Yeah. They keep following us round. Although, one of them is my bestie now. <laughs> the wife is my bestie. However, the husband is not my friend. But this is where we are for lunch. What a lovely lunch setting. I know. Crazy. Iceland is mostly green, and Greenland is mostly ice. I bet it's not in the winter. No, yeah, I bet, you, <laughs> I bet it's very snowy and icy here, to be fair. Yeah. But currently. It's a cute little place, isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. And we think it's all like family run. run. Yeah, I'm pretty definitely. sure the trolls are sisters. Aww. Oh, we even filmed in 4K, look. Bye. Bye. We will miss you. Miss you. Bye. Smell the sofa. We've made it to the geysers. Let's go walking. This is Litley Geyser. Just a bubble away. I mean, it is very beautiful, but it's very stinky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does, it's very sulfury. Rotten eggs. <laughs> Stink bomb. But beautiful. Can't have both. So the guys is up there. And the guys has got its own hotel and restaurant. It looks very nice, doesn't it? It does, very fancy. Mm. But now it's time for the gift shop. <laughs> As per every tourist attraction, there is always a gift shop. Always a gift shop. 
And we love a gift shop. We do love a gift shop. I wonder if they sell cinnamon rolls in there. <laughs> Freshly baked. Who knows? Oh wow. Gosh, this store's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's a bit softer. Guys, a wall blanket. They're nice blankets, they are. What a lovely store. It smells nice in here as well. Well. Oh, the puffin. Oh, sorry. Puffin. Oh, they're nice mugs. Pick up the blue one. Look at that one. Aww. Oh. It's got the fins on it. Hi! How are you? Good. I'm a good friend. Puffin backpack. I don't think any puffins were harmed in that making. <laughs> That's our geyser. Geyser stop done. Yeah. And geyser store stop done. Yeah. And now we're on route to the waterfalls. I believe so, yeah. And then on to the national park. Yeah. We've now arrived at Bullfoss Waterfalls. Beware of pickpocketers. Oh, look at the rocks. <laughs> oh, but they're very wet. <laughs> I just I said, so. oh, oh, so very wet. Oh, oh, no. no. It's To another shop, lovely. No crampons, no pets. Look at them enjoying the waterfall. Creative waste by Rocker London. Huh, look at these. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've made a quick pit stop into the cafe and got pecan pie. Two coffees. Two coffees. And that came to just under £17. But 2,890 Icelandic crown. Crown. And we've arrived at another stop. Now, this is the Continental Rift between the tectonic plates. The tectonic plates between North America and Europe. and Europe. Fascinating. And he said Iceland is being pulled apart by two centimetres every year. And another thing, it's like nine o'clock at night and look it's daylight. Yeah. It's really deceiving, isn't really it? Really bizarre. Because <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, oh it's only about two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. No, it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> Crazy. And that's the tectonic rift, isn't it? Are we currently walking between North America and Europe? I think uh, we are, aren't we? Yeah. That's amazing. I don't know where we are. North America. No, you're in North America. I'm in Europe. So welcome and thank you for a fabulous day. I hope you enjoyed the adventures and have a great trip. And Iceland, of course, welcomes you anytime in the future. This is a steep bank, isn't it? And we're back. And that was the 
Golden Circle. I'm very tired. Oh, it's been a long day. It's a it's... long tour. So we left at... Well, we, we met at the Walt o'clock. Disney Theatre at 1, didn't we? And yeah. it's, what time is it now? 10, 20 to 11 20 to p.m. Eight. And we've just got in. But and it's a good tour. It is a very, very good tour. I will say it's a lot of sitting on a coach. So if you are prone to travel sickness from yeah, don't car journeys or bus journeys, yeah, it might not be for you. But it is good because you do get to see a lot of... Stunning scenery as you're yes. on the coach. And also, I feel like you tick off a lot of bucket list things to see in Iceland. because Such, you, Yeah, you, tourist attractions. Yeah, because yeah. you go to the waterfalls, you go to the geysers, you have lunch with the angry trolls. We've seen the tectonic divide. Yeah, the tectonic plate. Where was the first stop? Oh, the PowerPoint. Plow, power plant. Not a PowerPoint. Not a PowerPoint. <laughs> we didn't see a PowerPoint presentation. That was interesting. Informative, yeah. yeah. And I appreciate what Disney have done as well. So because we docked late, they have kept the restaurants open. So normally, on a Disney cruise, you get given your assigned seating, which is either early or late. So I think it's like for half... For dinner, this is. Yeah, for dinner. So it's either you go for dinner at half six or half eight, I think. But because they knew a lot of people have been on excursions today and only just arriving back, they've kept one of the restaurants open for you to just call in at. And I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And also the, like, quick service meal places upstairs, which are like Flo's, Tomatoes, where we get, like, the pizzas and the burgers from. And the wraps on deck and 11. salads. Um, <clears throat> they've kept that open till midnight as well. Really good. Yeah. And they've also laid on shuttle buses from the terminal to Reykjavik Town Centre. Yeah. We're going to go to bed now. We are. We hope you <coughs> enjoyed this vlog I mean you've seen a little bit of Iceland yes, you know, like, horses a lot of horses who knew Iceland had so many horses I bet people knew like, that was, it's but, almost but. like whales and the sheep loads of horses everywhere yes yeah, so good night thank you for watching yeah hope you've enjoyed it yeah if you Don't have enjoyed it a little bit of a like do that give us a little comment drop us a comment as to what your favorite part was and subscribe if you're new hello yeah. welcome